If you install a new garage door or replace the springs for your existing door, you will need to reset the travel limits. In this video, we will show you how to set the travel limits for your opener. Please be aware this video is only meant to be a visual aid to help you understand the installation of your opener. It is not meant to be a substitute for the owner's manual that came with your new opener. Please refer to the owner's manual for complete detailed instructions and warning notices. Please note that a moving door can cause serious injury or death. Keep people clear of the door as it moves and do not allow children to play with a keypad, wall console, or remote controls. You should review the manual for other specific safety points before proceeding with installation. Also keep in mind these additional points when setting the travel limits. You have 30 seconds to execute each step. If you see two solid red or flashing LEDs on the opener, you have run out of time and must go back to the beginning of the step and start over. You can restart as many times as necessary. Do not operate this unit from the wall console before limits are set. Severe damage to the opener can occur. Keep in mind there are two triangular buttons for the down and up limits. The down arrow button is the one pointing toward the door, while the up arrow button is the one pointing away from the door. 